rainbow broccoli or cauliflower. Here I have Roman broccoli, purple broccoli, and straight up classic broccoli. Three small heads are too large, okay? And mix the colors. Now, what I do with the broccoli or the cauliflower is cut the pieces into, uh, cut the florets into bite-sized pieces and also the stems. Don't waste the stems, okay? And I blanch it in salted water for a couple of minutes, salted boiling water, cold shock and dry. And then you can freeze it and defrost it whichever day you wanna make this dish or uh, just dry it on a kitchen towel and prepare it fresh, of course. I have two skillets here. I could turn the heat up on now, a little bit. Turn that one up a little bit. And we're going to add good olive oil, E-V-O-O, -O, right? Fancy. In the larger pan, I'm gonna brown the sausage. You can use hot or sweet. As John said, he chose a nice, fragrant, lovely Sicilian style sausage, about a pound. So sweet or hot sausage, this one has fennel and lemon. So in the first pan, I'm gonna brown that sausage and break it up a little bit. In the second pan, we're just going to brown the broccoli or cauliflower itself. I'm gonna add a little extra oil to that pan because you're not gonna get any rendered fat from sausage for this pan. So I'm gonna put a little extra olive oil in there, enough to coat the bottom of the pan itself. And now I'm gonna add about half of our beautiful broccolini. We're gonna take a chili pepper and make it less spicy on our pellets. Cut the heat back by removing the seeds. We like things extra spicy. So I'm also gonna take one of these long skinny chilies and just run my knife through the whole dang thing. Okay, so we've got two pans working with our rainbow broco broccoli. I keep wanting to say broccoli, but it's not. Uh, or you can do the same thing with rainbow cauliflower. Blanched a couple of minutes, and now we're adding some shallots and garlic to both pans. Fresh thyme to both pans. The reason we have two pans is this pan has sausage in it, this pan does not. My sister and my mom prefer vegetable only. My husband, please. See, this is what we're looking for, the caramelization. That's why we tried to dry this. You see in both pans, the broccoli is getting crispy at the edges and nice and brown. That's what we're going for. Now into each pan, we're going to add our chilies with or without the seeds. A little splash of chicken or vegetable stock to keep the pan moist. Now that we've crisped the broccoli, you don't want it to dry out either. You want the edges to be crispy, but the broccoli to be creamy and lovely inside. Same with the cauliflower. A little splash of lemon in both pans. And we're gonna save some walnuts for on top and we're gonna mix some walnuts in. So there it is as an entree. And we add a little bit extra walnut. And as I said, that pecorino cheese.